guys, this is Josh Bergen. I'm the digital editor for Fly Fisherman Magazine. Today I want to talk a little bit about the aquatic invertebrates and bugs of mountain lakes. They are similar to, but different from the rivers below. I'll start with midges. Midges are probably the most important food source for trout at mountain lakes. These are the same midges from the rivers below, but they're often called chironomids at lakes, and they often run a bit bigger, usually a size 16 to 20 in mountain lakes. Next, there are scuds. Scuds are not a bug per se, they're actually a crustacean. They're kind of shaped like an upside down U and they propel themselves with their little legs underneath. Scuds come in a variety of sizes and colors. I've seen them in yellow, orange, pink, olive, brown, tan, and they usually run a size 12 to 18. Calibatus are the most important mayflies at mountain lakes. They are a gray tan mayfly that have mottled wings and are usually a size 14 to 16. Adults and nymphs are both important to be able to imitate. Now there can be other mayflies too, like gray drakes, there could be betas, blue-winged olives, and I've seen trichos. But these mayflies are not very common, so if you're traveling light, I wouldn't worry too much about imitating them. Then there are terrestrials. If you haven't read Gary LaFontaine's book, Fly Fishing the Mountain Lakes, I recommend picking it up. It's got a ton of great information all around, but in particular, he covers the anabatic winds that bring the terrestrials up the mountainside and plop them onto the lake, and it's important information to understand. Then there are caddis. Caddis are not always particularly important, especially at the highest elevation lakes above treeline. But you might run into them, so it's important to have a few nymphs and rise in your box. Then there are damselflies and dragonflies, and for mountain lakes I would focus more on damselflies. They're more common at the middle and lower elevation mountain lakes below treeline, similar to caddis. One fly I really like to imitate the nymphs is just a basic marabou damselfly nymph. Landon Mayer has a great fly called the mini jig leech damselfly. It's just a variation of his mini jig leech tied for damselfly nymphs that works really well. Some other bugs you might see at mountain lakes, you could occasionally see a crane fly or two. You might come across stoneflies. Now, stoneflies don't typically live in mountain lakes. If you come across some, they most likely hatch from a high gradient inlet or outlet or tributary nearby. But if they make their way to the lake, the trout will still eat them. Trout know what food looks like and they'll still eat stoneflies, so you might want to be prepared. There might also be non-bugs that can be important food sources for mountain lake trout. You could find leeches, bait fish, which are usually just baby trout, as there are not often sculpins at high elevation. You might find crayfish, though usually at the mid and lower elevation mountain lakes. You might also find eggs that trickled in from spawning fish. There could also be Daphnia and plankton. Now, Daphnia and plankton can be found at super high elevation mountain lakes. If you want to come prepared to imitate Daphnia and plankton, I'd recommend googling blob flies. The fantastic Brian Chan has a great article on flyfisherman.com that covers stillwater hatches in great detail. And there are many other stillwater fly fishing articles at flyfisherman.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you up there.